This is Mrs. Appia, Lesson 11, Module 2, Develop Rules for Multiplying Signed Numbers. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students understand the rules for multiplication of integers and that multiplying the absolute values of integers results in the absolute value of the product. The sign or absolute value of the product is positive if the factors have the same sign and negative if they have the opposite signs. Students use rules for multiplication of signed numbers and give real-world examples. The essential question for Lesson 11. How do you determine if the product of two signed numbers will be positive or negative? Example 1. Extending whole number multiplication to the integers. Part A. Complete quadrants 1 and 4 of the table below to show how sets of matching integer cards will affect a player's score in the integer game. For example, three twos would increase a player's score by zero plus two plus two plus two for six points. So notice in quadrant one up here we have the number six. These numbers along the x-axis represent the numbers of matching cards. And these numbers in the y-axis represent the integer card values. So this number six is represented by drawing three cards and on those cards there is a value of two. So you get two points, two points, and two points for a total value of six points. What does this quadrant represent? It represents picking up positive values. So we drew three cards, each had a value of two, and our overall change in score is an increase of a score by six. What does this quadrant represent? So you've got the number three here and then negative four going down and that would give us a value of negative 12 and this quadrant represents the number of matching cards. So we've got three cards that you are drawing and each card has a value of negative four. So your score goes down by four, down by four, and down by four again. So when you pick up negative value cards, that would be represented in this quadrant. And you would have an overall score of a negative 12. Three cards, value, negative four each. Decrease score. Pause the video and fill in all of the products in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 4. Resume the video when you have completed that task. What patterns do you see in the right half of the table? In quadrant one, the products are positive. In quadrant four, the products are negative. The absolute value of the products of are mirror images of each other. Enter the missing integers in the left side of the middle row and describe what they represent. The middle numbers are negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and negative 5. And those numbers, they're the opposite on the other side here. They were positive. And when they're positive, those are the number of matching cards. And on this side, these are also the matching cards. These are the cards that you are picking up because they are positive. And these are the cards that you are either discarding or setting down because they are negative. Cards in quadrant two here, the, what does this quadrant represent? These would be the cards that are being discarded that are positive numbers. For example, if you were to discard four cards and each card had a value of two on it. So you're getting rid of a two, getting rid of another two, getting rid of a third two, and getting rid of a fourth two. Then you would be getting rid of 
eight points total. So that would decrease your score by eight. Pause the video and complete the quadrant two products where you would be discarding positive numbers and then determine what this change in score would be for each of those values. Then resume the video when you are done with quadrant two to check your answers. Check your solutions. What relationships or patterns do you notice between the products in quadrant two and the products in quadrant one? So these are the two quadrants that we're comparing, quadrant two and quadrant one. So you'll notice this goes one, two, three, four, five, negative one, two, three, four, five. And two, four, six, eight, 10, negative two, four, six, eight, 10. Quadrant two products are negative. Quadrant one products are positive. The absolute value of the products are mirror images of each other. What relationships or patterns do you notice between the products or values in quadrant two and the products or values in quadrant four? Comparing the values in quadrant two to quadrant four, notice that the numbers are all negative. And going across the row, we have negative one, two, three, four, five, negative one, two, three, four, five. And then going up, let's go up here, two, four, six, eight, 10, two, four, six, eight, 10. So the quadrant two and quadrant four products are all negative. Each product of integers in quadrant two is equal to the product of their opposites in quadrant four. Use what you know about the products in quadrant one, two, and th four to describe what quadrant three will look like when its products are entered. So now think, what would the products in this quadrant look like based on what you know so far? Here you've got picking up cards that are positive and they are positive. Here you have discarding positives, which gives you a decrease in score. And here you have picking up cards that are negative and that decreases your score. So predict if you are discarding negative cards, how would that affect your score? So let's take a look at a problem. Let's say that we discard five cards and that each one of those cards has a value of negative two. So when you discard a negative two, your score goes up by two. When you discard another two, your score is up by four. Discard a third two, your score is up by six. Discard a fourth two, your score is up by 10. Discard a fifth card and your score is up by 10. So the overall change in your score is an increase in 10. So this quadrant represents removing negative value cards. Pause the video and fill in the values for discarding all of these negative cards and resume the video to check your answers when you're done. Check your values and then turn the page. Part C, complete quadrant three of the table. In the integer game, what happens when a player score when he removes a matching set of cards with negative values from his hand. His score increases because the negative cards that cause the score to decrease are removed. Refer to the completed table to help you answer the following questions. Is it possible to know the sign of a product of two integers just by knowing which quadrant each integer is located in? Yes, it is possible to know the sign of a product of two integers just by knowing each integer's quadrant because the sign of the values in each of the quadrants are consistent. Two quadrants contain positive values and the other two quadrants contain negative values. Which quadrants contain which values? Describe an integer game scenario represented in each quadrant. 
in quadrant one where you have positives and positives. Positive here is picking up and picking up positive cards. When you have um, a positive card picked up, you'll end up with an increase in score, which is a positive value. In quadrant four, you are picking up and those cards are negative. And when you pick up a negative card, your score decreases, and so those products are negative. In quadrant three, these are negatives, and this is where you are discarding. So in quadrant three, you are discarding negative numbers, and that increases your score, giving you a positive value. In quadrant two, you are discarding positive values, and so your score goes down. That will give you a negative value. So quadrant one is positive, quadrant three is positive. Quadrant two and four are negative values. Two positives make a positive, two negatives make a positive. One of each gives you a negative product, and one of each gives you a negative product. Exercise one, multiplication of integers in the real world. Generate real-world situations that can be modeled by each of the following multiplication problems. Use the integer game as a resource. Pause the video. Write an in a situation that could be reflected by multiplying negative 3 times 5. Then pause the video and compare your answer to the given examples. Determine if your answer is correct. In this lesson, you have learned to multiply sign numbers. Multiply the absolute values to get the absolute value of the product. The sign of the product is positive if the factors have the same sign, and negative if the factors have the opposite signs.